Actually, two things. I wanted to come back and check out the facilities. It's been, it's been a few years since I've actually been back on campus. And secondly, I'm looking to uh, hopefully finish up my degree and make sure that you know I'm taking care of things on and off the field. So when you think of what you see on campus, it's you know, like the, the second floor that you helped out with? Yeah, the, the players' lounge, you know, was, uh, it was a thing that Coach Roddy came to me and said that he needed my help, and I promised that I would help out on. And to be able to actually see it, uh, it looks great. The, the lounge has turned out to be a wonderful idea, and I think something that the players should utilize and take advantage of. Okay, I like one more question. <laughs> It's impressive. It shows how long I haven't been on campus. I'm walking across, uh, walking across Valley. And I'm like, what's that building there? It's this new impressive weight room that looks to be uh, tremendous, and it helps allow not only the football team but all our athletes to utilize and become better, better uh, at their sports. So you always feel like this would be a little bit of home for you. It would always be home. It would always some place that would hold a dear and in my heart. You look a little different. What are we doing here? Losing weight. Uh, football's over, you know, you don't need the, the heavy pounds anymore, getting into some some running, something competitive, keep my uh, competitive juices flowing. How much have you dropped? 50 pounds. And how you, you're running? Running, yeah, I have a uh, half marathon this weekend. All right, so, fun to be back here? Yeah, yeah, excited, you know, good to see the guys and uh, be a part of the program again. And lose weight. I think he looks awesome, this is beautiful, look at this. When I stop playing, I hope I can drop weight like this. <laughs> he's gonna, you know what he's doing this weekend? No, what is he doing this weekend? I got a half marathon. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> no I'm half saying, marathons for me. You got to stay competitive, you know? Ping pong. Ping pong. <laughs> ping pong. <laughs> no ping pong. Oh, yeah. I need to get on that diet plan right there, man. I'm still look like I'm still playing ball right now. I need to cut down. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. He, he said he, do, he does a lot more cardio, he says. That's, that's a good plan for him. I remember when I was, when I was coming in, I, I replaced a guy named Ken Simonson. And I literally, I was a stalker. I watched him. I did everything he did. Ken was the first person in college football that wore a suit on Saturday. He didn't wear, he didn't wear the track outfit. He wore a suit. What did I do? I wanted first me a suit. It was men's warehouse, but it was a suit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta do those things. You gotta be hungry as freshmen. Be respectful. Pay homage. Guys that went a long way. There's guys that has built this facility that you're in. Guys, they didn't have this when Coach Ryder was his first stint here. This wasn't here. This indoor facility. That weight room outside, I didn't see that weight room. I walked across like, what the hell is that? Like, <laughs> you know? So these things that you guys are privileged to have, understand that guys have laid the groundwork for that. And you guys are laying the groundwork for the next generation. So seniors, never forget where the freshmen come from because you used to be that guy. And freshmen, you want to be that senior. You want to be respected by the next group coming in. Let's make the tradition that we've built even stronger. Continue to come back. See guys like Savvy, see guys, that I've been playing with Mitch. I mean, I, mean, I, I didn't even realize Mitch was a, a coach now. I mean, me and Mitch played a few years together. So it, when you see that as a extended family, and when you see guys doing their things in separate realms of the world, it makes you proud to be an Oregon State Beaver. All we focus about what's going on in Cavallis and what we're building here. And what we're building here is a strong work ethic of blue collar men that's going to be successful in any walk of life that they take. And I'm proud to call myself an Oregon State Beaver. And hopefully you do the same. We've got that horse over there too, another guy. It's just fun to have everybody around. We, we love it.